When I was six in Bhutan, I realized my grandparents, they used to cry and it's very bad. And that whole country cried at the time. So nobody is happy at that moment. Government of Bhutan um, brought about a policy called One Nation, One People policy. That change brought unrest in Bhutan, particularly targeted to ethnic Nepalese minority in the south. Uh, I was about 10 um, and all I remember is, you know, living um, in constant fear um, um, d during, all, you know, the time of unrest. Um, and I remember one afternoon, um, my parents would pack up, uh, you know, little backpacks and they would say, we are leaving. So we, we left Bhutan and made a journey through the jungles. Uh, had to walk three days and three nights to get uh, uh, to be able to be smuggled through the border um, into India. When I first came to Australia, um, I was very excited because to begin a new life, but I was nervous at the same time as well because it was a different settings, tall buildings, and I knew it would be a big challenge, but at the same time I was excited because I was no longer living in the camp, and I knew if I worked hard, I could have a future. So I was, I was excited about that part, yeah. Can I give an example of resilience? I think our parents are a very good example of resilience as well. Having lived in the refugee camp for 18 years under such harsh conditions. So the Bhutanese people are very resilient people. They've had to adjust to lots of changes coming to Australia. Um, simple things like electricity. We're learning standard Australian English. Learning our colloquialisms is important for them so they understand when they go to the shops what they're asking for. Very kind and keen to become part of Australian culture and that's what's really helped them become part of the Aubrey community. Many of them who've been here a while are actually starting to buy houses so they're becoming true residents of our community. The younger children are learning very quickly so there's a little bit of a gap happening between parents, grandparents and the younger generation. So retaining their culture is important but also immersing in the Australian culture, which they actively do. Design brief. So, you know, design brief, that B has to be a small letter. Right now, I am working as a school learning support officer, um, where I help those kids who are in the same boat that I was when I started at school. Um, I dream of becoming a doctor. That's my childhood goal. Um, and that dream basically triggered from my life experience in the camp. Because when I was living in the camp, I used to witness people die almost every day um, due to minor abnormalities like diarrhea or, or fever. So I knew if, if I could do something, I had a feeling that if, if I ever get an opportunity to study, I will become a doctor and hopefully I will save more lives. And I was really happy when I started studying at Murray High School uh, in, in Australia. It was hard, uh, it was challenging, but I didn't give up. I was perseverant and I had the burning desire to do well. I worked hard and I asked support from everyone. And at the end of the year 12, I was a doctor of the school, scoring 90 in my high school certificate exam. Receiving the scholarship from the hands of Governor of New South Wales made me feel really special. Uh, I, I hadn't imagined that I could be receiving a scholarship like that. Um, and I knew that it was a life-changing support for me. So in 2012, after completing high school certificate, um, I started my tertiary education um, at Australian National University studying Bachelor of Medical Science, which I graduated from last year. So I'm now hoping to get into a postgraduate medical program um, and hopefully become a doctor. This country, Australia, is very amazing for my daughter. As well as for me, it's lots of opportunity, uh, whatever she likes, she can go and she can grab that opportunity. My biggest hope for the um, Bhutanese communities in Australia is to develop that sense of belonging, develop that skills um, uh, necessary to integrate uh, into the Australian workforce. 
um, and feel that they are part of the community as well. But at the same time, I also want the Bhutanese people to, to uh, preserve their cultural heritage um, and also pick up the Australian culture at the same time. And so that way, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to be a, the amalgamation of the best of both cultures. It's beautiful.